True Believers, Drill Pal, Spider-Man. Good evening, Cadre. It's KJ. That's right, I said good evening. Uh, I'm doing a very rare, for me, uh, vampire shave, nighttime shave. Uh, got a call from work this morning um, that had to go in for a couple hours. So I didn't shave this morning. And I'm going to wake up early tomorrow so I can work out. And so I just figured... Um, I would shave tonight instead of tomorrow morning. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and use another open comb razor for October. This is the Damascene 1912 open comb, uh, which is pretty rare. The uh, Damascenes normally have a, a bar that goes across all these teeth. The teeth are still there, but there's a bar across them. Um, and the, uh, the open comb model is kind of rare. It says, uh, Jim Cutlery Co. New York, USA on the back. On the inside, it says, use only with Jim Damascene blades. Uh, and then it's got the uh, patented 1912 on the bottom. Uh, one cool thing about this razor is um, it comes with a stropping attachment inside the handle. So you pull the stropping attachment out, you reverse it, and now you have a holder for your blade to slide in, and then you can just use this to strop your blade with. So it's just a handle to hold the blade. Um, mine's loose, it needs to be tightened up here if I were to actually use it, but never actually used it, it's just kind of interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and put my handle back on, load up the blade. And go to town. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and grab my uh, Maggard Synthetic because that's what I glanced at. Didn't really put much thought into the shave aside from the uh, razor. Um, obviously, still going to use Hallows. We've got a uh, few more days of that one. I'm going to use it right up through Halloween. And then move on to something different. Since I'm going to bed right after this, I'm not going to put on the Hallows aftershave. I think I've got uh, something else in mind that I'm going to use that might be more appropriate. Some of you might understand. But I uh, posted about this in my uh, motorcycle journal. But yesterday, or today, it will be yesterday by the time most of you see this. Um, like I said, I got called in to work. And it was a beautiful day. And so I decided to just ride my motorcycle to work. And then when I was done, I got caught up on the forum. Because it's easier to get caught up on the forum at work on their computers than on my phone at home. And then I decided to uh, ride to the art museum, which is in the next town over, about 20 miles. So put in a little, little bit of a motorcycle ride through the country. And uh, like I said, the, the weather was beautiful, clear blue skies, just a few cirrus clouds, um, and some contrails, and that was about it. Other than that, it was beautiful blue. And uh, fall colors are here. Um, I don't know if we are gonna get a peak, or if this is about as peaked as we're gonna get. Um, the colors in this area of Missouri don't really last that long. It seems like as soon as the trees really start changing, and I don't just mean like the first couple trees, like once the majority of them start changing, it seems like our colors only last for about a week and then they all fall off. And so it's like our fall colors just don't last that long. So I kind of wanted to get out and see some colors and 
enjoy fall before we don't have anything else to look at. So I had a really nice ride. I got to uh, go to the museum. It's a contemporary art museum. Um, and they, it, they've got a large collection. It's a small museum. They have a large collection, so they rotate through. Um, I was going there hoping to see a piece that I saw when I was there before, but they had rotated and that one was no longer on display. Um, I'm going to have to go through their website to find it because they do have their entire collection on their website because I want to find out more about the piece and see if I can find a picture of it because I really just wanted to see it again. And it's a huge piece. It's got to be 12, 15 feet wide, 8, 10 feet tall. It took up the entire wall. And uh, I really just kind of wanted to sit in front of it and just gaze at it for a while. So I'm hoping to at least find a picture of it. It's been about a year since I've seen that picture. Uh, but one of the really cool things about the museum is they have a uh, Chihuly piece, which if you're familiar with Chihuly, he does uh, like glass chandelier type things, glass sculptures. He's really famous. He's got a couple of galleries. He does exhibits at uh, museums, at botanical gardens, just all over the place. Um, and there's one hanging in the museum, and it's a permanent piece. So anytime I go there, I get to see the Chihuly. So, I know y'all complain about me not rinsing my razor, but this is a lather catcher. That's what it's designed for. See, look at all that space, just meant to hold leather. So anyways, had a good ride. Great weather for it. I think it was in the high 50s today. Um, it's supposed to be Lows in the low 50s tonight and highs up to 70, I think, tomorrow. So it'll be nice riding weather tomorrow. I'm going to go to a uh, Masonic Lodge meeting tomorrow in Kansas City right after work. So that's going to be uh, about an hour ride. So there'll be really good weather for it. I'm looking forward to getting on the road and putting some more miles on. So I bought the motorcycle in April, I believe. And there's been a couple of months where I haven't been able to ride because uh, of my surgeries and recovery and whatnot. But uh, I've still managed to put almost 4,000 miles on the bike this year. It only had just over 13,000 miles when I got it. So, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I'm 
This razor feels a little bit smoother than your normal Gem and Everetti 1912s. Um, but that's a pretty common observation for anybody that uses a Damascene. Um, I don't know if the uh, open comb is any different from a normal Damascene. I've got one, I just haven't used it in forever. So one of these days I'll get that one out and compare it to this one. But I've already selected my razors for the next two shaves for October. So I won't shave tomorrow. That'll be the 29th, so I've got the 30th and the 31st, so my last two shaves of the month are already spoken for, for which razors I'm going to use. Another thing that led to me shaving tonight, I wasn't going to, I wasn't planning on it, um, but I wanted to trim up the sides of my head. And after I did that, I wanted to take a shower. And since I was already taking a shower, my pre-shave was all gonna be taken care of, so I decided since I was taking a shower anyways, and I didn't shave this morning, let's go ahead and do the nighttime thing. Usually I'm not a fan of night shaving just because my pre-shave, without taking a shower, there's no way I get my face prepared adequately. I don't do the whole towel thing and I didn't feel like, or I don't feel like lathering up and letting that sit on my face for a while. So all those techniques of trying to prep your face just isn't something I care to do. Because taking a shower is all the pre-shave prep I need. Trying to get a really close shave because I'm not going to shave at all tomorrow. I already had a little over a day and a half growth on this one. I'll have a little under a day and a half growth next time I shave. So just trying to get it as close as I can. I think I've only used this razor a couple of times and I'm not sure since I haven't revisited it I think that my impression of it wasn't that great but now it's doing a really good job Which is kind of why I want to go through and revisit a lot of these razors that have just been sitting in my display case for a while. Because I think my technique has improved over the years and probably wasn't there to begin with when I first got a lot of these razors. And there's some razors that are in there that I haven't even used at all. I just bought them just because they're neat and part of history and wanted to collect them. And uh, straight into the display case they went.
That'll do, pig. That'll do. Nope. There we go. All right, so. Rinse this off real quick. So I'm gonna follow this up with some uh, Humphreys uh, Alcoholado Maravilla 70. A little sample bottle from Dave in Kentucky. And I watered it down just a little bit uh, with some regular Humphreys organic witch hazel just to uh make it last a little bit longer um because if stuff's really hard to find and i wanted to make the sample that he sent me last so i put it in a spike bottle and then the other thing i'm going to do right before i go to bed is apply some florida water which some of you know why i'm going to put this on before I go to bed. And that is because some people claim that putting the Florida water on right before you go to bed gives you weird and wacky dreams. I've never experienced that, but why not try? I love weird micro dreams. My hair's kind of poofy right now since I'm going to bed. I didn't put anything in it except some uh, uh, Jerry's hair tonic, which is really light and doesn't really offer any kind of hold. So it's just kind of poofing up there. I wish I could get by with this look all day, but it's not going to stay like that. And it'll end up just flopping over or something like that. But. I kind of like the, the look of it like that. So, I will uh, get this posted tonight, and I'm sure most of you will watch it tomorrow morning. Um, check us out on the Shaving Cadre Forum. I'm Spider, and we'll see you guys later.